hello students uh, today we are going to see a problem on uh, cylinders this is the problem so he has given us four stroke diesel engine has the following specification and the brake power he has given as uh, 5 kilowatts speed he has given as 1200 rpm and indicated mean effective pressure he has given as 0.35 and mechanical efficiency has given as 80 percent he is asking us to determine the bore and length of the cylinder thickness of cylinder head size of studs for cylinder head these are the things he is asking us to find out so just uh, see the given data brake power speed indicated mean effective pressure and mechanical efficiency these are the four things he has given so i have already so solved the sum but uh, i will solve this uh, in the video itself now only so the first step that we need to calculate is we need to determine the bore and length of the cylinder so the bore and length for calculating the first step bore and length of cylinder so this is the first step that we need to calculate for calculating that we have to take the area of cross section as pi by 4 d square that is uh, you all know and the length we have to take it as 1.5 d so whatever the length that will be 1.5 times of the diameter that is an assumed value or uh, that is commonly take that's why i have taken as l is equal to 1.5 d okay which is 1.5 by 1000 billion meters okay we need to take it in meters in order to get get correct units in the coming uh, calculation okay so the first step we are having is he has given as he, he has given the data as a brake power and a mechanical efficiency from that we can calculate the indicated uh, power as bp by mechanical efficiency so the bp value he has given as 5 kilowatts which is 5000 by 0 0.8 so we will get an answer of 6250 so this is the value that i have got okay so what is the exact ip formula 6250 is equal to pm into length into area into n by 60 so this is the formula we are having for indicated power okay so 6250 is equal to pm he has given in the question the indicated mean effective pressure as 0 0.35 into length will be 1.5 d by 1000 into 60 so here the area will be so the area will be pi by 4 d square pi by 4 d square into n value will be n value will be 1200 by 2 why i am taking by 2 because he has given in the question the four stroke engine that's why i am taking as by 2 okay just solve the thing and you can get d cube is equal to uh, 6250 by 4.12 into 10 to the power of minus 3 you will be, you will get an answer of uh, d just uh, solve the value and tell me the answer i have got an answer of uh, 115 mm okay the length value will be 1.5 times of 115 so i have got an answer of 172.5 the length value will be 172.5 mm so the next thing that we need to calculate is thickness of cylinder so the thickness of cylinder is thickness of cylinder for calculating the thickness of cylinder we have to go for the data book 
okay see here so for calculating the thickness of cylinder we have we have two formulas okay okay the thickness of cylinder is equal to t is equal to pd by 2 sigma t plus 6 to 12 mm and another formula we are having so the so based on the sigma t by p value we can, we have to choose which formula we have to select so if the sigma t by p is greater than 6 means we have to go for first formula otherwise we have to go for the second formula so here the sigma t is nothing but allowable tensile stress of a metal of a cylinder okay so here you can see the thing so allowable tensile stress of cylinder material so the allowable tensile stress of cylinder material can be found out from the data book only so see here here so sigma t value is 50 to 60 newton per mm square for cast iron and 80 to 100 newton per mm square for steel okay so this is the value that he has given in the data book so actually he, he didn't mention as the material of the cylinder so that's why we will uh, go for an assumption case right now i am taking a sigma t value as 50 mm considering the material as cast iron you can take other values also okay so from 60 from 50 to 60 newton per mm square for cast iron you can take a, a, any of the value from 50 to 60 that is 51 52 55 whatever the values either you can go for cast iron because he didn't mention us the what is the type of material that's why I am assuming the material as cast iron. You can assume the material as some other thing. Okay. Just assume. Uh, I am just taking the value as sigma t is equal to 50. Assumed. Okay. Sigma t by p. So here the p is nothing but here the gas pressure. So gas pressure in the uh, cylinder that is developed due to the fuel gases. Okay. So the exact value he has not given. So the maximum pressure can be taken as uh, um, which is 9 to 10 times of that uh, of uh, indicated mean effective pressure. So 9 to 10 times of indicated mean effective pressure will give you the maximum pressure so just substitute that value and you can find out the uh, p value so sigma t by p value will be 9 to 10 times of uh, indicated mean effective pressure that is 9 into 0 0.35 you can get the value okay So, sigma t by p, which is sigma t, I have taken as 50 and 9 into 0 0.35. I have got an answer of 15.87. So, which is greater than 6. So, we have to substitute the first formula that is given in the data book pd by 2 sigma t plus 6 to 12 mm okay t is equal to pd by two, sigma t plus 6 to 12 mm he has mentioned as 2 6 to 12 mm you can take any of the values okay so the p value is 9 into 0 0.35 and the diameter value that we have got is uh, 115 115 by 2 into sigma t value is 50 i have taken plus 6 so i am taking as 6 you can take any of the values so just substitute the values and tell me the answer the t value
so I have got an answer of 9.96 which is equal to 10 mm okay so the first and second questions are solved thickness of cylinder next we need to determine the size of the studs and so the size of the studs we need to determine size of studs for this cylinder for calculating the size of studs we have a formula in the data book let me show you so nominal diameter of bolt or stud that is d is equal to almost equal to 1.5 dc dc is nothing but your core diameter dc is equal to root over p d square by n into sigma tb here the n is n can be found out by zero point actually he has mentioned as zero point one but the actual formula is zero point zero one d to zero point zero two d plus four so just uh, rewrite the formula over there 0.01 d to 0.02 d plus 4 and dc can be found d and here the sigma tb is nothing but your allowable tensile stress of a bolt material so the allowable tensile stress can be found out in the data book only so see here 80 to 100 newton per mm square okay sigma tb so just substitute the values over there and you can find the uh, core diameter later you can find the nominal diameter of the bolts okay so for finding the uh, d value d is equal to 1.5 dc so dc can be found out by using the formula p d square by n into sigma tb okay the sigma tb is nothing but uh, allowable tensile stress of a bold material which is 80 to 100 newton per mm square which i am taking as 100 newton per mm square okay so n can be found out number of bolts is can be found out using the formula 0.01 d to 0.02 d plus 4 okay so just substitute 0 0.015 d plus 4 just i am taking like this you can take any of the values okay so i have got an answer of 5.725 which is equal to 6 okay so the n value we have got 6 bolts okay Nandi? so number of bolts is nothing but 6 okay so dc the formula is pd square and sigma tb just substitute the values 9 into 0 0.35 that is 9 to 10 times of uh, indicated mean effective pressure into d square 115 square by n value 6 into sigma tb sigma tb value is 100 just substitute the value and you can find the core diameter and as well as you can find the diameter as 1.2 into dc okay you can find the nominal diameter of uh, bolt also just substitute the values and tell me the answer okay